to start in here, Ms. Atomi. Good morning, esteemed professors and distinguished participants. A very warm welcome to our online national level faculty development program on research and innovation. I would request our convener to give permission to start the program. Yes, Professor Simran, please continue it. Thank you, sir. Before we commence our program, I would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to our chief patron, Sri Tarsem Singh, Honorable President GGES Bokaro, our patron, Sri Surendra Pal Singh, Honorable Secretary GGES Bokaro, our principal convener, Professor Dr. Priyadashi Jaruharsa, Director GGS ESTC Bokaro. Without their unwavering support and dedication, today's event wouldn't have been possible. Today is the fourth day of the faculty development program. From insightful discussions to thought-provoking presentations, this event promises to be a platform where ideas converge and connections flourish. Once again, a warm welcome to all the esteemed speakers and participants. I would now request our convener to introduce our esteemed speaker for today's FDP. Thank you so much, Professor Simran. Once again, a warm welcome to all of you in fifth day of FDP program, and a very good morning to all the participants, the eminent professor and researcher from different different organizations, and all my dear colleagues. We are very fortunate to have you all here today for this. Thank you so much, and a lot of gratitude from the bottom of my heart. As we know that, this FDP program, Research and Innovation Ecosystem, is a multidisciplinary type in which people from different disciplines and different areas of interest has been brought together. It will enhance knowledge and awareness of current scenario of research in India. And as we know that, the key highlights of our FDP program is how to get research funding from various funding agencies like DST, especially for private engineering colleges how to get international funding and patents, and how to publish a good research paper, and how to build a sustainable research ecosystem in the college, and how to compete with a new emerging research field, and many more. So on behalf of GGSTC, I would like to welcome our respected Dr. A.P. Bernabal, sir. He is an HOD of DSH department. He has held various positions, including assistant director, he is an eminent educationist and researcher who has published more than 32 research papers in international and national reputed journals and more than 30 research papers in conferences. He has also served as a reviewer for many research papers. He has guided many students of MTech, MPhil, and PhD. He has received many awards like IRDP 2020 Award and Academician Award 2024. So, respected Bernal sir, please share your valuable view with us in this FD field. Thank you, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Thanks to Dr. Akash, sir. Good morning to all. At first, I thank to Director GGSCTC from Principal Convener of FDP, Professor Dr. Priyadarsi Jaruhar, sir, who given me an opportunity for this presentation. Today is the fifth day of FDP. Everyone has listened a lot of useful topics. Today's topic is application of mathematics in research and innovation ecosystem. Mathematics is an important tool essential for research and innovation ecosystem to analyze the data develop models as well as derive insight into the models. Innovation means traditional research and development 
it is the development of new values that meet new requirements the company's culture centers on innovation innovation is strongly entwined with mathematics from ideas to proof of concept implementation and real world use mathematics plays a significant role in every innovation journey an innovation cycle starts with identifying a need and aims to develop implement or roll out a new service or a new product as mathematician we start by defining a problem and work to drive a solution innovation question may be translated into mathematical problem then a later step is turning a mathematical solution into an innovation in the context of research innovation ecosystem individuals in it is involved in driving innovation research funding and support our players who contribute to their best services thereby shaping the overall innovation landscape players in research and innovation ecosystems are entrepreneurs a startup they create new product services or business models second player investor they provide funding for a startup and innovation projects third is academic and research institutions these conduct research and development often collaborating with industries next is government provides funding policy and regulations that can foster innovation corporation engage in research and development innovation partnership no unti sunti suno asli par hum log ko mile mil raha and sometimes ऑर्गेनाइजेशन these organizations focus on fostering innovation in a specific sectors or region customers or users provide feedback validation and market demand for innovative products and services service providers offer support services such as legal marketing and consulting tailored to starts up and you know benson uh, innovators mathematicians are indeed significant players in the research and innovation ecosystem these are following resources uh, there are following several regions problem solving skills mathematicians approach problem logically and systematically make them valuable contributions for solving complex across diverse fields that is mathematician excel at formulating problems in precise terms which is crucial for research and innovation versatility mathematical concepts and methods have broad applicability allowing mathematicians to contribute to a wide range of research areas fundamental knowledge mathematicians provide the foundations for many scientific and technological advancement and models that underpin innovations in field such as computer science environmental science physics data analysis and others critical research mathematicians conduct critical research to develop new mathematical concepts theories and frameworks these innovations serve as the foundation for various fields of science engineering and technology
applied research mathematicians apply mathematical principles principles to solve real world problems these includes developing <laughs> mathematical <laughs> models <laughs> algorithms <laughs> and computational <laughs> techniques to address challenges in diverse domains such as finance healthcare engineering and beyond cross disciplinary collaborations mathematicians collaborations with innovators researchers from other disciplines bringing their expertise to interdisciplinary projects by contributing mathematical insights and methodologies they enhance the effectiveness and impact of research across multiple fields algorithm development mathematicians play a crucial role in developing algorithms and computational methods that power innovations in different areas such as artificial intelligence machine learning optimization cryptography and wireless electricity and other areas data analysis and modeling with the rise of big data mathematical concepts are essential for data sets identifying patterns and building predictive models mathematicians expertise in statistics probability mathematical modeling derives advancement in fields such as finance marketing healthcare and other areas innovations within mathematics mathematicians continuously push the boundaries of mathematical knowledge through their own research and discoveries these innovations often lead to unexpected applications and breakthrough the other disciplines mathematics encompasses a large number of branches each focusing as different aspects of mathematical theory applications and problem solving techniques graph theory is indeed an important branch of mathematics which is the vital part of research and innovation ecosystem graph theory is utilized to model analyze complex networks such as social networks these refer to the waves of social relationships that individuals form with one another there are intricate waves of social ties that form the foundation of social life and flow of information within and across communities graph theory in transportation network graph theory is used in transportation <coughs> network in route planning traffic flow analysis public transportation optimization vehicle routing scheduling and infrastructure planning and others graph theory in biological networks graph theory is used to model and analyze various types of networks such as protein protein interaction network metabolic networks neuronal networks and others graph theory in urban planning network graph theory can be applied to solve various problems such as optimal road network design public transportation optimization location allocation for facilities land use planning a smart city planning and others graph theory is used to solve various problems in rural areas such as transportation planning resource management community connectivity market access and trade optimization supply chain management improving crops productivity optimize land use and others communication network graph theory plays a fundamental role in design analysis and optimization of communication networks this may include network topology design 
routing and traffic engineering, quality of service management, network security, wireless sensor network. Graph theory in operations research problems. Graph theory provides a powerful framework for modeling and solving a wide range of operations research problems, helping business organizations optimize their processes, resources, and decision making. It plays a crucial role in transportation, logistic problem, shortest path problem, vehicle routing problem, facility location, facility layout problem, project seedling, and critical path analysis, and others. Gra graph theory finds extensive applications in computer science in following such as data structure, algorithm design, Many algorithms in computer science are inspired by graph theory concepts. Graph traversal algorithms like depth first search, brief first search are used in web crawling, maze solving, and finding connected components. It is also used in compiler design, to represent control flow graphs and data flow graphs. Graph theory in database management, it uses graph theory, graph structure to represent and query relationship between the data entities. Graph theory in cryptography. Graph theory has several applications in cryptography contributing to the development of secure communication protocols, inscription algorithm, and digital signatures. Some areas of applications are cryptographic algorithm, calligraphs, elliptic curve cryptography, lattice based cryptography, provide a mathematical foundation for cryptographic primitives and protocols. Network security. Graphs are used to model and analyze various aspects of network security, including instruction, detection, and attack graph analysis. Graph theory in a space research. Graph theory plays a significant role in a space research in various ways as topology design. This related to designing the topology of satellite constellations and communication networks in a space. Route optimizations. Graph theory is applied to find optimal routes for a spacecraft navigation, planetary explorations, rovers. It is also used in mission planning to solve problems related to scheduling and resource allocation. It is also used to optimize the allocation of resources such as fuel, power, and data storage during a space mission. Finally, we conclude that Graph theory serves a powerful framework for analyzing the interconnections and dynamic within the research innovation ecosystem. Thank you. I will stop here. Thank you, audience, for listen very patiently. Thank you so much, sir. It was a very enriching experience listening to you. I would now invite our second speaker of the day, Dr. Akash Arya, sir, who is a distinguished faculty from the Tripoli Department of GGSCSTC. Sir has earned his MTech from Pondicherry Central University and his PhD from IIT Patna. As an eminent educationist, Dr. Arya holds four years of dedicated teaching experience. As an accomplished researcher, he has authored five research journal papers 
and presented five conference proceedings papers, both nationally and internationally. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, Professor Simran. Once again, a very good morning to all the participants. Uh, the eminent professor and the researcher from different different organizations and all my dear. Anyway, I'm going to share just uh, like some a small droplet of information in front of many eminent professors present here. So I will try to discuss a very basic and common things of our FDB topics, that is research and innovation ecosystem. Uh, we know the importance of research, and it is also important to understand the interconnection between different aspects of society, industry, company, businesses, and corporates, and how all of these different systems work together, and how each of them play a vital role. So, uh, these are the timeline that these are the these are the timeline that I will try to follow. That uh, first of all, I will discuss about the research. Then I will uh, talk about the innovation in ecosystem and the combination of all the three words like research and innovation ecosystem. Then research and innovation ecosystem for the private universities, then the general key component of a research and innovation ecosystem. So first of all, uh, what is this research? English word research comes from old French that is re, R E, which means again or once more. And search, search, the meaning of search is to search, to seek or to look for. And uh, uh, which means the literal meaning of uh, research means to search again. This is the uh, etymology of the research, which means the origin of research that has been shown by this flow diagram. And it has been taken from this particular website. Now, uh, as per Merriam Webster Dictionary, the definition of research is in this way, which means a careful or diligent search, or we can say just collecting, collecting of information about the particular subject that is also considered as a research. Suppose that we are interested to teach one particular topic in our class, and regarding that, if we are trying to search uh, that particular topic in any book, that is also considered as a research. Now, innovation. Innovation, innovation means a new idea, method, or device, or the introduction of something new. That is innovation. So, some relevant innovation which has been, which has impacted the society directly and immediately. These are the some example like a sprint suit for runner. And this is the horizontal drilling machine uh, with less disturbance uh, to the environment. This is also a, a kind of innovation. And this is the another example like artificial limbs. This is also a great uh, innovation that has impacted the society uh, directly and immediately. And these are the, some other example like coconut tree climber and coconut tree climbing bike. These are also a kind of innovation. These are some more examples of innovation like drip uh, irrigation. Uh, that uh, here we can see the drip irrigation that has been used for the plant uh, irrigation of the plant, especially for the uh, summer season. These are the very important device. Uh, camel driven double digger was. This is also very important for the desert area. And this is the another passing come exercise machine. These are a kind of uh, innovation and uh, some uh, innovation which has not impacted the society directly or immediately, but it was also a great innovation, which means all the research needed not to be such that it should impact the society directly and immediately, or it should be application based. It is not true because for example, here we can see this is the a snail's law. A snail's law has been uh, uh, the concept of Asnilsa has been developed long back, but nowadays we are using those concepts for the optical fiber communication. In the same way, uh, concept of light and laser, this was invented long back, but we used it later on for the making of microscope and telescope. 
Now, what is this ecosystem? Ecosystem, right? So before, what is ecosystem? An ecosystem indicates all the living things that comes, plants, animal, and organism in given area and interacting with each other and their uh, non-living environment. Means I would like to say that if there is some living things and some another non-living environment, and both are interacting with each other in order to sustaining for long lasting, right? So this ecosystem uh, help each other for surviving for long duration. In other ecosystem also, the concept of ecosystem is not only limited to the natural environment, the other type of ecosystem can also be formed which helps the human society to flourish in better manner. For example, here we can see the manufacturing ecosystem. Here we can see the top five benefits of uh, making manufacturing ecosystem. In the same way, here we can see the research and innovation ecosystem. Four basic different layer of research and innovation ecosystem here. That is your researcher, innovator, entrepreneur, and institution. Institution. So a researcher will think about the problem, how to solve that particular uh, problem, because those, uh, those are important for them and they are excited to solve that. There is innovator will think that this idea can be applied somewhere or not. And the entrepreneur will think that can I make some money out of it by applying this product. Whereas institution, which means the funding agency, Right, that will think to provide the fund one. And what there is, there is not a single human being who contain all these uh, four quality uh, that will be very, very rare. So in order to uh, make a successful research, this research and innovation ecosystem is required. There is one another example for the importance of research and innovation ecosystem, for example, this is a one biochemist, which means a scientist of biochemistry that will not understand what is manufacturing, what is distribution, what is regularity, and how to deal with clinician, right? This all four quality cannot be uh, contained by any one person that is biochemist. So in order to, so I think to optimize the research value, a proper channel of communication is needed, that is research and innovation ecosystem. Now, the flow of a student from uh, their UZ to becoming a PhD research scholar, these are the flow diagram. Here we can see that when that particular students are in the UZ that have to study all subjects. At that time, they will not understand that what they like or what they don't like, what is good for their research, what is not good for them, right? So they have to study all the subject. But and uh, through final year project, a student can get land to particular subject or particular domain. And later on, that can be continued in PG or graduation, PG graduation, post graduation. It will give them a, a specialization to that particular subject or particular domain. And later on, uh, after completion of their PG, uh, they can do research independently in PhD, right? By doing all these, they require a guide or mentor. And now, in order to get a new idea, that particular researcher or student, uh, they can visit many conferences, they can attend conferences, right? Because in conferences of same domain, many people will come and many researchers will come. And during discussion, they can get some new idea to uh, continue their uh, research. Now, the question may come that which type of conference a student or researcher should attend. For that particular, a student should see that particular uh, conferences had been uh, occurred multiple times. For example, there is a, if there is a 10th international conference, which means nine conference has been already uh, happened, which means there is a maturity of that international conferences and there will be probability of 
attending more and more better research there, then there is a probability that they can get a better idea there. So these are the basic things uh, for a uh, UG student or PG student or even for a, any PhD researcher. These are the another example, like uh, what is research and invention ecosystem? It is a uh, it is the term used to describe the large and diverse area of participant and resources that contribute uh, and are necessary for ongoing research and innovation in modern economy. These are the two uh, basic component of research. First is full-time faculty, faculty with doctoral degree, time for research, doctoral program and talented student, postdoctoral researcher, research facility, international collaboration, scientific publication, innovation and entrepreneurship, research evaluation, research funding, research administration and support offer. These are the general other key component that is considered for the uh, this ecosystem. That is, it is very difficult to all uh, discuss all the uh, these component in very short duration of talk. So we can try to understand these are the component. And before finalizing, before finalizing any topic, before finalizing the research topic, we should find the research gap. Research gap means what is missing in existing current literature. And then we should think of all resources that life facilities there or measurement facilities there or not. Now, what is this literature surveys? How this is important and why a student need to do? The literature survey is very important through which we can get to know the past development, past development of past, past development to understand what we need to do. And if we don't know uh, what had happened in past five to 10 years, then we will not know whatever we are doing that is new or Maybe that uh, whatever we are doing, that is exactly the same thing has been done by some other people. In that case, uh, there will no doing, there will no meaning of doing that research. So, this literature survey is very important. Now, uh, thing is that this is documentation. Why this documentation is important? While doing research, uh, as we know that this research journey is not of one or two days. This research journey is of very long duration. So during that duration, if we are not doing proper documentation, then uh, if we will try to correlate or if we try to uh, connect the all dotted, then it will be very difficult to remember each and everything. So in order to correlate or finalize or uh, complete the research paper, we need to provide uh, documentation so that at the end we can uh, make a proper research paper in order to publish there. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for your kind attention. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your enriching insights on research. As we move towards the end of the today's program, it's time to extend the vote of thanks. On behalf of the organizing team, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for gracing us with your presence today. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our chief patron, Shita Sem Singh, Honorable President, GGS Bokaro, our patron, Sri Surendra Pal Singh, Honorable Secretary, GGS Bokaro, and our principal convener, Professor Dr. Priyadashi Jaruha, Sir, Director, GGSTC Bokaro. Without their unwavering support and dedication, today's event wouldn't have been possible. I would now like to express our sincerest appreciation to our esteemed speaker, Dr. A.P. Banwar, sir, and Dr. Arya, sir, whose annual, invaluable insight and expertise have enlightened us throughout today's event. A special word of thanks goes to our conveners, Dr. Akash Arya, sir, Department of Tripoli, and our co-convener, Professor Mehmood Alam, sir, Department of Mechanical Engineering, and assistant co-convener, Dr. A.P. Banwar, sir. Last but not the least, I want to thank each and every participant, for your active participation, enthusiasm, and engagement throughout the program. Thank you once again, and we look forward to meeting again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you. <laughs>